Hi, my name is Angelica, and I'm going to show you how to configure events to respond to triggered conditions in FlexLogger. FlexLogger is configuration-based DAX software for data logging, automation, and monitoring test execution. We've already configured our vibration and RPM measurements for our fan, and now we're going to automate when we turn on that fan using the Boolean formula that monitors our light conditions as well as our temperature set point. In FlexLogger, we configure events in the Test Specification tab. The first event I'm going to configure is to turn the fan on. There are a variety of conditions that we can check for, including when a channel value changes, or whether we've met a critical or warning alarm, and the amount of time that has elapsed or passed from the test start. I'm going to choose to look for a channel value change on our Boolean formula for the fan enable. And we're going to choose when it transitions high to set the analog output of our fan speed control to 10 volts. The next event that I'm going to add is for when we turn the fan off. I'm also going to use a channel value change for the same Boolean formula. And this time, when it transitions low, we're going to reset all of the output channels that we configured previously for our fan speed control. So when this value becomes transitions low, this is going to return the analog output to its default state of 0 volts. Let's take a look at our screen so that way we can see this data running while we test out our events. I'm going to add a long history graph to monitor our temperature. And a high speed graph to monitor our vibration. The last thing that I'm going to add is a control just so we can see the value change of our output. So I'm going to select our fan speed control. So now we're going to start running to test out our event. As I increase the temperature, past the threshold, we can see the fan speed control increase to 10 volts, and we can see the increase in vibration of our fan that's turned on in response. Once that temperature has decreased below that threshold, we can then see that the fan turns off in response. So that's how you configure events to automate outputs in FlexLogger.